A Fish Out of Water by Helen Palmer and illustrated by P.D. Eastman. Cat in the Hat. Cat in the Hat. That's right. Cat in the Hat. That's right. Cat in the Hat. See all the fish? A Fish Out of Water. This little fish, I said to Mr. Carp, I want him. I like him, and he likes me. I will call him Otto. So the fish's name is Otto, right? Otto. Yeah, Otto, yeah. Very well, said Mr. Carp. Now I will tell you how to feed him. Then Mr. Carp told me, When you feed a fish, never feed him a lot. So much. So much. This much you give the fish food. And no more. Never more than a spot. Or something may happen. You never know what. Then I took Otto home. I gave him some food. I did not give him much. Just one little spot. One little spot of food. But this did not make Otto happy. He wanted more food. He had to have more. Poor Otto. He just had to have more. He's still hungry. I knew what Mr. Carp had told me. Never feed him a lot. Never more than a spot. Or something may happen. You never know what. But I gave Otto all the food in the box. He, he gave him all the food. Now the box is empty. Because he gave him all the food he gave to Otto. Uh-oh, then something did happen. My little Otto began to grow. I saw him grow. I saw him grow and grow. Soon he was too big for his little fish bowl. There was just one thing to do. I put Otto into the flower bowl. There, Otto, I said, this will hold you. But no, the flower bowl did not hold him. Otto went right on growing. This was not funny, not funny at all. His tail was growing right out of the top. His tail was coming out. He was growing and his tail came out of the top. I grabbed the flower bowl. I ran with it. I ran with it. I ran with it. I know just where to put you. Then you'll be all right. I put him... Round it. The what? Round it. Yeah, he, Round ran, it. He, he ran with it? Yeah. yeah, he ran with it. He was running. He ran, right? I put him in a big pot, but Otto was not all right. I saw him grow some more. Very soon he was too big for the pot. He was too big for the pot. I put him in pot after pot. He was growing so fast. Poor Otto, my poor little fish. Oh, why did I feed him so much? He gave him too much food. He gave him too much food. Now he's growing and he won't stop Engine. growing. Engine. No, that's the pipes. That's the pipes under the sink. See? That's the pipes. Good. That's right. It does look like an engine. That's right. Otto, I said, stop growing, please. But Otto could not stop growing. He was growing all the time. Very soon I ran out of pots. Otto had to have water. There was just one thing to do. I did it. I grabbed him. I grabbed him by the tail. I ran with him. Up the stairs. With the fish. With Otto. Up to the tub. The tub is big. It can hold lots of water. At last. There, Otto, I said. This tub holds my father. This tub holds my mother. So it will hold you. It's big enough for his mom and his dad, and it's big enough for Otto, right? But the tub did not hold him at all. He went on growing and getting bigger. Oh, Otto, I said, what can I do now? Oh, no, he was bigger than the tub. Then, crash, the door went down. Crash, Otto went down. I went down, too. Oh, what a ride. Down went the water into the cellar, and down went Otto, too. I had to do something fast. I grabbed the phone. 
I grabbed the phone. I called the policeman. Help! Help! I said, I fed my fish too much food. Mr. Carp told me not to, but I did. What? Yeah. What? Said the policeman. Mr. Carp told you not to, but you did? Too bad. I will come at once. So the police came. Bee boo, bee boo. The police came. My fish went that way, I said. He's down in the cellar. The policeman down, ran down with me. What a fish, he said. He's much too big to keep in the cellar. We'll have to get him out. So they had to get they had to get Otto out of the basement somehow. How? We had to work and work to get Otto out. Poor Otto. Oh, why did I feed him too much? Mr. Carp told me something would happen, and it did. It did. Now we had Otto out of the cellar. But now Otto had no water. No water at all. A fish has to have water. I said to the policeman. We must take him to water. Get help. Call for help on the radio. Here's a police car with the lights. The policeman called on the radio. He called for the fireman. Help, help, he said. A boy has fed a fish too much. A boy has fed a fish too much. We'll come at once. The firemen came. They all helped Otto get up. But where can we take him? I asked. Uptown? Downtown? Where do they take him? To the pool! To the pool! The swimming pool! To the pool! yelled the firemen. To the pool, I yelled. To the pool. And please hurry. So they all... They did hurry. The fire truck with Otto came right up to the pool. The fireman yelled, Everyone get out of the pool! The fish is going in! So they lowered Otto into the water. Everyone ran, Ah! Down into the pool went Otto, into the pool, with a big, big splash. Now I was happy. Now at last my Otto had water, lots of water. This pool was just the thing. This pool would hold him. Uh-oh, but Otto went right on growing. And no one wanted Otto in the pool. They did not like Otto at all. You take that fish... Umbrella. Umbrella, that's right. Very good. Very good, that's right. You take that fish. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, four firemen. Five firemen, six, seven. That's right, very good. You take that fish out of here, they yelled. Take that fish out of here. Wait, I think I. Oh, here we go. Then. Oh, there was just one thing to do. I did it. I ran to the phone. I called Mr. Carp. Please, please, please help me, I said. I fed Otto too much. Oh, dear, said Mr. Carp. So you fed him too much? I knew you would. I always say... Oh, yeah. The phone noise, yeah. I, I knew you would. I always say don't. But you boys always do. Yes, I will come. Ding-a-ling-a-ling. -ling. Then, yeah. then Mr. Carp came. He had a black box in his hand. He had a lot of other things, too. What are you going to do, Mr. Carp? I asked him. But Mr. Carp said nothing. He went right up to the pool. Yeah. He took his black box with him and all other things, too. And splash, Mr. Carp jumped into the pool. Mr. Carp jumped into the pool. Splash! Now Otto went down, too. All I could see was his tail. Otto. Otto the fish, right. I could not see Mr. Carp at all. What was going on down there? What were they gonna? What were they doing down there in the water? What were they doing? No one knows. Fish, fish's tail. Now I could see nothing. Now I could see nothing. Not Otto. Not Mr. Carp. Nothing at all. Would I see my Otto again? Would I see Mr. Carp again? Mr. Carp. Mr. Carp. I yelled. Where's Mr. Carp? Where's Mr. Carp? Mr. Carp. Mr. Carp. I yelled. 
What are you doing? Are you all right? <gasps> then up jump. Then it's a diving board. Oh yeah, that's right. He's on a diving board. He's waiting to see Mr. Carp. That's right. Very good. He's on a diving board. And then up jumped Mr. Carp onto the diving board, right? In his hand was a little fish bowl. In the bowl was my Otto! Yay! Mr. Carp had made him little again. Don't ask me how I did it, he said, but here is your fish. And from now on, said Mr. Carp, please don't feed him too much. Just so much and no more. Now that is what I always do. Now I feed Otto so much and no more. Never much more than a spot. Or something may happen. And now I know what. Oh, isn't that nice? Wasn't that nice? Yeah. Wasn't that nice? We're going to bed. You're going to bed? Yeah. All right. Pop, pop.